Good morning, everybody. This is breakfast time again. Hallelujah. Happy new week and happy stress-free week in advance in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So without wasting much of our time, I just want to talk about the uh, talk about corrections today. Praise the Lord. Correction. What do we mean correction? When we are being corrected, correction is a change that makes something more accurate than it was before. And correction can also be called can also mean to rectify, uh, to amend, to adjust, to repair, to clear your praise the Lord, as you want to call it. It's also, you can call it correction, you can call it reproof, you can call it rebuke, you can call it critics, praise the Lord. Different different Bible, like the Amplified, told me reproof, like the New King James, told me critics, you know. So there are so many names you can call them, praise the Lord. But what is it trying to say? It's trying to point you, it's trying to point the person to a change it's trying to point the person to rectify a particular thing that he's been corrected of praise the lord and by the grace of god where we are going to read we're going to see two class of people that we can correct and the ones we cannot correct proverbs 9 from verse 8 and 9 i'm going to read it says so don't bother rebuking mockers they will only hate you but the wise when rebuke will love you all the more Teach the wise, they will be wiser. Teach the righteous, and they will learn more. Praise Master Jesus. You know, today I have discovered that out of pride, we don't take corrections. Out of pride, because we are so proudful, we don't take corrections. All we say, who is this person that can correct me? And who is she or who is he that can correct me? But do you know a man that takes correction is a man that is wise? Is a wise man. For example, I remember I went to Belgium just a few weeks back. And the pastor's wife was preaching something similar to this message. Though I, I had my notes and I was showing it to the person sitting seated by me. I said, this is going to be my next, this is my next topic. Look at it, I've written it down. And she was teaching about a set man. She told us her experience as she went to a particular place. And her, another woman of God, was pointing her attitude to her. He said, and she quickly took hold of it and was telling the woman, Mommy, I'm, I'm trying, I'm working hard on it. I want to make a change. Then she now told us that was her set man. She identified that this is the person that God has placed to point out this thing to me. Though I have been fighting it, but she has come to point it out to me again. Praise the Lord. That is a wise person that takes correction. Anytime you are corrected, it's because the person cares more about you. That is why he's pointing it to you. For example, we want to correct others, but we don't want to take corrections. You cannot be wise if you are the type that does not take corrections. Praise Master Jesus. There are certain of us that when you are corrected you feel you are controlled i was once in that group even today there are times when i'm corrected no matter how soft the tune is to tell me there is something inside of me that 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 that's my ego that that that's kind of saying make me understand that this person wants to control me but thank god for the spirit of god that is greater the, 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 the power of God in my inside that is greater, that helps me to dominate and quickly grab the corrections. Praise the Lord. We want to correct our children. We want to correct others. But you can't correct others when you cannot be corrected. There are so many of us that talk too much. There are so many of us that criticize others. But you fail to look down and see your own when others are telling you, Ma, you do this, you do this. Or, Sir, this thing, I don't, this thing is not too good. But we fail to hold on to it. Praise Master Jesus. And that just points us to the group that we are. And many a times when we are told that this attitude is wrong, we will hate the person that have told us. Then do you know you just placed yourself in the group of mockers? The Bible says when you correct, when you rebuke the, when you rebuke the wise, when you reprove the wise, when you criticize the wise, he becomes more wiser. He even loves you the more. Praise Master Jesus. He loves you the more. Which group are you? There are people that can correct us. One, God can correct us through his word, through his servant. We remember the uh, prophet, uh, uh, prophet Nata and David. God used him to point out his faults. Used Nata to point out David's faults to him. And the Bible makes us to understand he broke down. I know you will tell me that man used wisdom, but there are times, even when they use wisdom, they use the word raw, there are so many of us that don't take. 
Listen, what the devil wants to do with us is to make us a laughing stock. By God's grace, next week I will tell us the consequence of not heeding to corrections. Praise Master Jesus. Your husband can correct you and tell you, darling, this thing you are doing is not really, is not really appropriate. You will start shouting, D -d 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 -d. no, that is not life. And your wife can also tell you, honey, this thing you are doing is not appropriate. And as a man, you want to be the boss. Let's listen because we become wise, we become wiser. And your children can correct you. Many at times we want to correct our children. Nobody through the process of correction. Correction is not sweet. When you are going through correction, when you are going through repro, repro, when you are going through rebuke, when you are going through critics, there is always something you feel in your inside, which is normal. But the good thing is when you heed to it, you find out that you don't make the same mistake anymore. And now I want to also talk to us parents. When our children correct us, especially those that stay in a place where they don't speak English, and when your child is correcting you, daddy, this is not how to say the word. The first thing you shout is this, I was not born here. Likewise, mommy, I was not born here. But that is not the answer. Okay, thank you, my dear. Ah, this is how to say it. You've been, you, if accepting it has made you better. And I pray as we go through this week, that whosoever God sent you on our, to, to us to correct us, and I pray that we heed to this correction in the name of Jesus, so that we will be wiser in Jesus Christ's name. Have a stress-free week ahead of you, and God bless you really good in Jesus Christ's name. Bye-bye for now. Hallelujah. Amen.